Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another Solo Saturday video. This one is coming at you with a specific goal in mind, and that is let's get this Hive Community event completed, and the only thing we're missing right now getting some hive killed and getting some nightfalls done get some nightfalls done you get some hive killed we're all good to go i'm going to be showing you how to get through strange terrain solo as easy as possible uh we're not going for any kind of world record here i'm just looking out for you solo players that are just trying to get yourself through the nightfall you just want to get it done because you want to one you want to get that emblem and two you want to help add to the tally of what in the 150k that's 150,000 nightfalls completed of uh, Nacris or the strange terrain. So I'm going to show you exactly how I'm set up. I would recommend using pretty much the same weapons, but as far as the uh, the guardian or whatever you're using, uh, I'm using a titan, as you can see right here. And the weapons, here we go. We got the Wardcliffe coil in the heavy slot. This thing should, which I've never done, but I've seen videos of, but it should one-shot Nacris when we get down there because of how I have the card set up. Then we've got the Badlander shotgun. Again, we are going to have arc set up on the card, which I'll talk about the card in a second. And then, you know, whatever you're comfortable with in the primary, I'm going with the Blast Furnace. As far as my subclasses, you can see I am, of course, rolling arc. We've got the double grenades with the Code of the Earth Shaker, and then Pulse Grenades, ba uh, Rally Barricade, and Lift, Catapult Lift. As far as armor, use whatever the hell you want, whatever is going to make life easier for you. I like using the Heart of Inmost Light on my Titan because when I use my abilities, it makes my other abilities come back that much faster. Now, the card. Here it is. This is how I recommend setting it up for this strike specifically. You want to go with the Arc Singe and the Heavyweight. A lot of the enemies in here have Arc, uh, have arc Shields, so you'll be using Arc Weapons. You can take down those Arc Shields a lot easier. There are some Wizards with Solar Shields, just be aware of that. But with Heavyweight um, and using a Shotgun, you should be able to take those Wizards down pretty quickly. So this is what we're going to do. Again, I'm not trying to rush through. There are videos of almost this complete similar setup that I'm using of people getting through this nightfall in about five minutes. That's not going to be the case here because that's not what the standard player is going to be doing. I mean, you, you know, let's say you've got 15 minutes. You've got 15 minutes to get through this, right? So let's see if we can do this in about 15 minutes. Let's see if we can do this in about 15 minutes. Right off the bat, you want to try to knock out these enemies here. Uh, just because they're going to make life a little harder for you. Use that shotgun. But then, stay to the right, run over this cliff, uh, and just head down to this cavern. No reason to stay around, take out all the enemies. We're not going for score. We're not trying to do anything fancy. We're not trying to do anything crazy. We're just trying to get through here. So, now we're through this spot, and we're in this cave. This cave is where you're going to run into a whole bunch of ads coming down at you. Grenade time, right? There you go. There you go. Uh, and then whoever gets through, shotgun. Life is simple. Okay, so we're here at what I'll call in one of our first major rooms. There's an activity that you have to get to. If you, I mean, I'm assuming you're not familiar with the strike. I'm sure most of you are, and you know exactly what to do here. But in case you are not, I got you covered. What there are, as you can see, there is a glowing knight up there. The Uggle, Uggle, Uggle. Uggle Gar Knight. I've never actually looked at their names. They are kind of looking like Crota. They are going to drop an orb. Once you kill them, you got to take that orb and throw it at those spinning crystals. As you can see, there are two, and there are two knights. How convenient. So you want to take them down, and uh, you just want to watch out because it is Arc Singe. So they are going to do a lot more damage because their attack is Arc. Uh, also, once you kind of run up here a little bit further, a bunch of uh, well, there's two versions of it. Either knights are going to spawn, or there we go, or exploding curse thrall. Curse thrall also do arc damage, so watch out for them. They're going to hurt. They're going to hurt if they get you. Now, we are not getting very many uh, heavy ammo bricks to drop right now, so I'm going to pop my barricade to help me recharge my um, whatever it's called grenade. Let's see if we can't take down this knight pretty quickly. Again. Ooh, see how much they hit. There we go. Uh, and we'll just, you know, we'll just do that. We'll just do that. Oh, catch it. Catch it before it runs off the edge. Now, if for some reason you don't take out those two knights real quickly, if you take out one, and then you kind of dilly-dally, 
a third knight will spawn to make life just a little bit more difficult for you. So you want to take those two knights out pretty quickly. That's going to be the same case throughout the entire strike as you get through it all. Uh, so we're getting down into another one of these little cavern areas. Uh, and this time you just got a whole bunch of thrall coming at you. They're also going to be knights somewhere around the bend. Here they are once they get too close. Shotgun time. Watch out for the exploding thrall. Keep them away from you. And you're good to go. Nice. Look at all the heavy ammo dropping. I'm happy. I'm happy about that. So hopefully you've got your Wardcliff coil primed and ready to go. Because you got two knights that are about to come in and ruin your day. Unless you take care of them real quick. Just like that. Now you got a couple of acolytes. Don't sleep on these acolytes. They are powerful. Remember guys, this is a nightfall. This is a nightfall. So things are a little hectic. Oh, I forgot to reload. There we go. All right. I saw that we had the, uh, we got another adder here. I saw that we had <clears throat> a heavy brick on the ground. I'm going to hold on to my heavy. Luckily, I have my super, so we're going to get a little crazy here. See if we can't knock all these guys out. Ooh, that wizard spawned in a lot sooner than I thought it was gonna. Watch out for the wizard's attack. Of course, it shoots arc. And now we're good to go. Now, once you kill the wizard, you're gonna have a whole bunch of acolytes pop in. Um. If your heavy ammo is looking good, such as mine is right now, you can kind of skip this this area once you kill a bunch of the acolytes. Once you kill a bunch of the acolytes, there's a cave up in the top left that uh, it's basically going to explode open, and a whole bunch of thrall are going to come running through. Now, what I recommend doing is if you don't have a lot of heavy, kill as many of the thrall as you possibly can. There you go. Here they all come. I'll throw a grenade just just to level some of them but you can kill all those thrall hopefully you get some heavy to drop i have plenty of heavy so i'm not going to waste time hopefully you do too okay in here you want to watch out there's going to be two knights just keep an eye on them as you can see health is getting low <laughs> health is getting low these guys do not joke around with those boomers and they do not stop shooting them either If you have to use a grenade, if you have to use a grenade, it usually stuns them. And then we're good to go. Okay, one more room before we get to the final encounter. And look at this, guys. We're already at six minutes in. So that's not too bad. So there's going to be two variations of this room. There's going to be the variation that I'm going through right now that shows you the um, shriekers. There's going to be another variation that has uh, ogres. So basically, it's either going to be an ogre or a shrieker when you first enter on the left there. There's always going to be this wanted, this wanted, uh, um, whatever the hell it's called, wizard. What I like to do when I'm doing this solo, and I'm not trying to go for any kind of crazy score or anything, let the wizard go. Let the wizard go. Don't even worry about her. She's going to take a ton of your ammo. She's going to probably take a heavy up. Uh, and then you can just run. So down over here, you're gonna have these knights. You gotta kill these knights. You gotta pick up the orb. Pick up the orb. Throw it at the crystal. You guys are starting to see a pattern with how the strike goes. Uh, and there's going to be two on each side. Oh crap! And there we go. I got quiet there because I got nervous. Perfect. Got that done. Now we got to switch sides. Yep. Now we got to switch sides. Basically do the same thing on this side. We want that shrieker to open up so we can take the shrieker out. Please, shrieker. Please, shrieker. No, we're not going to open up. There we go. Got a grenade. I recommend a grenade. It's going to take it out a lot faster. Ooh, man, the damage. Again, watch out for these acolytes. Once you take that shrieker down, the knights are going to spawn. 
And there we go. Did that knight die? Doesn't look like it. Did I not hit that knight at all? Alright, we're going to take our time. See, the problem is right here, you're kind of out in the open. We're going to let that knight come to us a little bit. Hopefully we can recharge. Alright, we're going to try to go knock this knight out. There we go. And now we got one more night to deal with, and then we're good to go, guys. Of course, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be, it's going to be around the corner. Good thing is, once we get that night down, we've got the Wardcliff coil ready to go. Let's see if we can't use this Wardcliff coil to take this night out. Should no problem. Alright, looks like we got one in the chamber left over. As soon as that shield is done. Well, we missed. You know what thing's happening? I don't have this thing masterworked. And that's what I need. So I do not think we're actually going to be one-shotting Nocris. That's alright. We'll two-shot him. Hopefully we can get some heavy to drop, though. Because that's going to be the problem. Uh, yeah, no heavy. No heavy whatsoever. Uh, well, let's see. Things are going to get interesting. Plenty of shotguns, though. Plenty of shotgun ammo. <clears throat> so let's see. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully, there's going to be four knights down here. Hopefully one of these knights drops some heavy ammo. Uh, and that's the only thing we got to worry about. Four knights, so we can take our time. See if we can get them. Still doing great on time. Ten minutes in. Uh, and we're on pace for a 15 minute run if we can one shot Nocris down here. I don't know if we can. I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna find out. Oh, you know what? We have our super. And we are out of super. Nice. I saw a heavy drop. Ooh, we've already got one. Now what we can do, or we can try. Rally barricade. Maybe we get two shots off. Stop them now and save Mars. Didn't work. Didn't work, so we're gonna have to do this legit, guys. What's the health looking like? Can't see it. Can't see the health. All right. Well, I don't know. I don't know why. I guess maybe it's got to be masterwork to one shot, one shot this bad boy. But hey, you know what? Maybe you don't have it masterworked either. So this is how you're gonna get through here. So Nakris, three phases. Phase one. Uh, we're doing right now. Nakris kind of just stands up there and sends a whole bunch of ads at you. Stay behind this rock on the left side, or the right side, and you should be alright. Kill a bunch of the adds, eventually more of those knights are going to spawn, they're going to drop those orbs, throw those orbs at the crystals, um, open up the shield, or knock just a shield, whatever it's, whatever I'm saying. Uh, and then we're good to go. Can't, won't show me, won't show me the health, won't show me the health. For some reason... That knight's spawning in a lot sooner than the one right in front of me. I don't know why. Maybe I gotta kill a few more acolytes. Here we go. Ooh, health is at a minimum right now. Got another one coming in? Well, that's convenient. Didn't have to run across the side. Oof. Almost got her. Him. 
All right, as long as we can get through this area, we should be fine. Now, what I don't know what's going to happen, are we going to jump right to the third phase, or are we sticking at the second phase? You running around, or are you staying put? All right, you're staying put. Nice thing about that is... Uh, well, she's, Knocker's going to shoot at you now, but he's not moving. But we do have wizards to deal with. And I'm about to die, so we're going to have to pop the super. One wizard down. I'm sticking in my safe spot right here. Let the ads come to me. Let the ads come to me. This wizard, man. This wizard... Ooh, I'm out of heavy ammo. That is a problem. Can we take that shield now? Can we take that shield now? Can we keep that shield down? <laughs> oh, can we keep the shield down? No? Alright, we're going to take the long way around. Hopefully either this wizard or Nocris is going to, not Nocris, or the knights are going to drop me some heavy. Because I need it and I should be able to waste. Should be able to waste it. Waste the boss here. I hope. Oh, no heavy there. Alright, let's run around the side, run around the outside, I should say. Oh, running around the outside. Let's try not to die. Oh, pop this barrier up. Maybe get our grenade back. Pop the shield. Oh no, he's sitting. He's sitting in a perfect spot for this. Do we have heavy? Oh my god, look at that throw. <laughs> oh my god, watch me die now. Watch me die. Man, we're going right to the last level, huh? Right to the last friggin' level. Alright, so this part is where things get real hectic, real crazy, real fast. Nocris is shielded still, and decides it's time to run around and chase you. Time to run around and chase you. So, it is all about moving quickly. And getting those knights down once they do spawn. Which is hopefully relatively soon. Nice, we've got our super. There's a knight. We gotta get over here to the other side. Is there another knight here? No, but there is heavy. I need the heavy. So strategy here, kind of run around. Where's Naki? I don't know where he went. I don't like it. No, we're dead. It's bad timing. All right, that's okay. All right, guys, we're picking up right where, right about where I died last time, which is sending Nakris into the final phase. And man, did I get lucky leading myself up to this because of the amount of heavy ammo there is all over the place. Uh, which is what I was lacking last time. Which I was definitely lacking. Alright, here he comes. He's coming around. We'll do that. We'll get our grenade back, hopefully, without getting blown up. Uh, 
Alright, let's run again. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Just do that. Where is the knights? Where are the knights? There's one. He's still alive. Oh, we gotta get around. Things are getting crazy. Here we go. Here we go. Get this out and we're done. That last part's a little hectic, guys, but man, we managed to do it. I hope you managed to do it, too. That's how you get through the Strange Terrain Nightfall, as you can see. I did die one time, but that's okay. That's okay. Hey, we got the emblem, Purifying Light. Awesome. Uh, but if that's what you're doing. If you're trying to get through the Nightfall, I recommend the Strange Terrain. That one's a little bit easier. Using the Thunderlord would also probably be a viable option if you're not going to be one-shot Anacris with the, uh, the, the Wardcliffe Coil. Um, if I, hopefully this helps you out guys if it did hit that like button let me know down below in the comments if you got through it uh, and here we go 22 minutes well if we didn't die halfway through we would have been uh, would have been even less guys thanks for watching the video I hope it did help if you're new here hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new destiny 2 comment and comment content and shadow keep stuff that's coming in uh, over the next couple of weeks, right before it starts, before it launches. That's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all and next time.